About two months ago, I made a video about finger skimboarding, and everybody has been wondering, how did I make that finger skimboard? So today, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a DIY and show you guys exactly how I made it. Also, my voice is a little bit strange today because it do be smoky. You're supposed to see a mountain right there that goes across there, but it is gone because of the smoke. There should be mountains like all across there and you should see mountains back there. So yeah, but even though it is smoky, I'm still going to make an awesome video today for you. Also, I'm in the middle of making an epic outdoor fingerboard park. So this is the first feature I've made. I made this about a month ago, so it looks pretty awesome. And I am gonna finish this whole place. There's gonna be half pipe there, a couple like kind of techy things over there. It's gonna look pretty cool. So I can't wait for this to be finished and I can show you guys what this looks like. Okay, we are ready to start making our finger skim board. So this is everything you need here. Basically, it's just a foam plate, some fingerboard grip tape. You also don't even need this actually, but I am going to use it just because I have it. A piece of paper, a pen, and some sandpaper. And that is it. So the first thing that we need to do is fold our paper like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but this is just to make a template. So something I do recommend doing instead of what I'm doing here is go onto Google and print off a picture of a skim board and get it down to the size that you want. Just because that shape is going to be exactly how it needs to be. Whereas what I'm doing here is I'm just guessing the shape of a skim board, but I do know the shape of a skim board, so I don't really need to do that. But the first time I did do this for that video where I was finger skim boarding, that one I just printed off of Google, so I recommend doing that. But you can also do this and it doesn't really matter. So now go ahead and open up your shape. This is a little bit bigger than how I want it, so I'm going to trim it up and also change the shape slightly. So now what we are going to do is trace this onto our foam plate. So a foam plate actually has two sides to them. It has like a shiny kind of slippery side and kind of more of a matte finish better side. So make sure the top side is facing up. It'll just give it a nicer look to it and just kind of a nicer feel to it. So yeah, do this. So something I do like to do is take the nose of the board and just gently cut the little bit off kind of on a slope. And that's just gonna make it so you don't really catch an edge as easily. So now go ahead and take your sandpaper, rip off a piece, and now we'll start sanding the edges to make them nice and round. And I'm using 600 grit sandpaper just because it is pretty smooth and doesn't take off too much and also keeps the edges nice and smooth. All right, and one more thing, uh, when you're doing this, make sure not to breathe in any of the little foam particles because yeah. So right now our board is completely straight like that, which a proper skim board actually is pretty straight and it doesn't have too much of a curve to it. But because this is so small scale, any little tiny wave is gonna make it catch under and kind of dive under. So I like to just tip the nose up a bit, just to keep it above the water. Now what this does is with that curve, even if it does dive underwater, it's gonna kind of pop back up. And you are pretty much done the board part, but I am gonna add grip tape and give the grip tape a cool feel to it. So now I'm gonna grab our grip tape. So let's use that. And now let's put the grip on the board. So something that I will do with this piece is a lot of skim boards have kind of a cool texture on the grip, but this is just plain. So what I'm going to do is take this little blowtorch and I'm going to heat this paper clip up that I bent and then pretty much just do whatever design you want on it and it'll give it a super cool feel and it just adds a nice touch to the board. So 
So there you go, that's how you make a finger skin board. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And before you watch the footage of me testing it, I'm not using this board. I already filmed that part a couple days ago. But yeah, pretty much the same board, just a little bit of a different grip design. But yeah, it's pretty fun and easy to make. And I know you guys have been asking me to make this ever since that video of me testing the finger skin board came out. So you're welcome. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. So now this is using the finger skin board. Thank you. 